You're watching Open House. Next, we are meeting up with interior designer Timothy Corrigan. With a strong foundation of classical design, Tim believes that one does not need to sacrifice comfort for style and practicality. With that in mind, Tim carefully mixes furniture, art, and decor from different periods to create a warm and inviting yet functional space. Take a look. Hi, I'm designer Timothy Corrigan with offices in Los Angeles and Paris. Welcome to my home here in LA. This 5,000 square foot Georgian colonial style home was built in 1922 with a center hall plan and incredible architectural details. Before they even make it to the entry hall, guests are welcomed by a beautiful front garden that I designed. The mirrored trellis panels reflect the fountains, green lawn, and boxwood hedges and give a hint of what is yet to come. As you enter into the house, you come into the entry hall with this wonderful grand staircase. All of the architectural detailing and molding are original to the house and they give a sense of real majesty and you can't help but feel that you're someplace special. I achieve that sense of grandeur and elegance through the art and antiques, but by balancing it with aspects that are practical and comfortable. For example, the seagrass runner on the stairs and the oriental carpets are great ways to be stylish and still be practical. Here we are in the living room, and the biggest design challenge that I faced was the fact that the doors into the room were actually too large, which made it difficult to place furniture in the room. By decreasing the size of the doors, it actually helped define the space and gave more options as to where the furniture could be placed in the room. Additionally, it gave us more wall space for me to be able to hang some of my paintings. As a designer, I believe very strongly that no matter how beautiful a space is, it's not really a success unless you and your friends can live in it and really be comfortable. One of the ways that we achieve that is by using high performance fabrics. And I actually put polyurethane on top of this coffee table that I designed so that you can sing, dance, and pour anything you want on it for days without any worry. And while the room had all the original architectural detailing on the walls, I added this plasterwork ceiling and I found this fireplace mantle in France. And just off the living room is this wood paneled study. And my favorite part of this room is this beautiful cabinet that the King of Holland had made as a gift to Catherine the Great of Russia. It shows all of the Greek gods and goddesses, but who's bigger, who's more important than all of them? But Catherine the Great, of course. And to me, that's gotta be one of history's greatest efforts at brown nosing. Dining rooms are a great place to add high drama in your home. It makes any event feel special, but you're not in the room so long that the look becomes overpowering. An interesting twist on this dining room is that because I don't use it on a daily basis, it doubles as a library where I have some of my favorite books and collections. Some of the dramatic elements that were added in this room is the exquisite hand-painted silk on the walls, as well as the center medallion on the ceiling that is surrounded by gold leaf. Back in the 1920s when this house was built, Kitchens tend to be fairly small and functional. Today, people really want to live in their kitchens. The first thing I did was knock down a few walls and make a much bigger kitchen. So now what we have is a place to really hang out. In addition to the island, there's the custom cabinetry, the marble countertops, the dining table, and it all opens up to the family room next door and the beautiful backyard. It's important for a bedroom to be warm and nurturing, so I covered the walls with a linen fabric which gives a cocoon-like feeling and used a soothing color scheme of tans and greens. And one of my favorite places to relax and spend time is in the sun-filled seating area of my bedroom. It's comfortable, it's intimate, and it's the perfect place to read and sometimes take a nap. Thank you so much for being a guest in my home today. I hope that you've been able to see that it is possible to have a beautiful home that is also comfortable and practical.